The embroidery filter can be found in the filter menu of Photoshop. Just go down to parametric filters, select that, and then to parametric filters and embroidery. Just simply click and apply to the current layer. And the effect by default is this. Now this is only available currently in the beta version. So download that from the Creative Cloud. Just simply go to your Creative Cloud and the betas. It's a public beta and you can use it in countless ways. The first thing you'll see is this parametric properties. There's a lot of options in this. There's also in the layers, you'll notice what you get. You get a background copy created from your image. Also, you'll get a smart filter and parametric filter. So if you just want to remove it, simply click and it's gone. Now, if you want to modify the settings, there's some presets. So just go here to properties and presets. And you can see that at the moment there's none, but you can add your own presets. To add, simply click plus. What you can also do is you can randomize. So click randomize and depending on the actual filter, you will notice that some changes happen. Now, what you can also change the light angle. So just increase that. And as soon as you do that, you'll notice a subtle effect. Also, you can modify the number of colors. So you can put it down to say two. So you're reducing it down to virtually a gray and white there. Now you can still see the underlying image. There is sort of a cut through to the original layer. Let's just go up here and put it to about five and you'll get five colors in this. You can see the bright pink glasses there. Also you can modify the density so you can reduce this down, maybe make it very low. You can see as you do that, it gets a lot bigger. You see all those threads there. So let's just push it down even more. The limit is 80. You can also go the other way and let's just put it to about 199. You get a very, very thin embroidery effect there. Also what you can do is you can modify the style. You can change here, this fill outline. So select that and the result will be subtle, but quite impressive. Also click here and outline and you'll get this effect. You can now see even more of the underlying image as well. And also another option, top stitch. And this will create another fascinating sort of outline effect around the stroke there of your image. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the fill. So fill option, and then you can modify the fill outline tightness. And you can reduce that down to zero and you get straight across and straight down there. Now you'll notice when I do that, I drag this, some of these settings actually go from all the way to the max and then suddenly jump to halfway again. And you can then just go here and you can increase it again. And you can repeat this over and over again. Now, as you increase it, you notice now it's four, it gets a little bit more complex. The, con the tightness creates this very interesting overlapping effect here. Also, what you can modify is the thread and thickness. So let's just go down there, reduce it down to zero. And the result is you can see the underlying image. Of course, it's completely utterly vanished then. But let's just increase it a little bit. So now you'll get very, very thin line effect, sort of like a very sketchy effect, which you could, of course, use with many other filters as well. In fact, you really don't even see the embroidery here. OK, let's just increase that again. And I'm going to put it back to 0.71. And you can see that. Also, what you can do, you can modify the length. Let's just reduce that down to say 0.06, very low. And again, you can see a bit more of the underlying image, but you can also push it up again to say 0.91. And let's just go for some of the other ones. So you've got smooth edges, so you can increase that. And this one stretches it. You can really see that looks really dramatic when you do that. And again, you can just push it up to one and it bounces back to one there and you can stretch that slider again up to two this time and you can see it makes it very very abstract also what you can do imperfections let's just push that up so imperfections 0.84 and you can see it becomes a bit more random in that or if you want the other way around you just push it down to zero and you can see it looks a lot cleaner also you've got options here for colors as well now the colors i've added i've just got up here five so with five you can go down here and you've got color two color three color four and color five so it's got a whole range of the colors there's not any color six etc because you've only gone for five colors and you can modify each of them so let's just change one of them so this one i'm going to go with the one color one 
and you can just click here custom color so gonna go with that and now you can see the gray there let's just click here and I can change that instead of gray I can go with red so now instead of what the original image had it's now red so you can tweak the colors in quite a few ways unfortunately it doesn't offer a gradient that will be even more impressive also you modify the design so instead of satin you can go with twill don't ask me the difference between them particularly and then split it's another option very subtle differences between those perhaps when they're bigger you'll be able to notice it a bit more clearly also let's just put back to satin you've got orientation you can say 45 degrees so you can just change that and again just very subtle change not particularly that noticeable also you modify the height let's just reduce that down so it becomes a lot flatter now of course you can with all these filters you can just drag this up put it one and then you can see the result there and again it just jumps back again to halfway and then two and so on so it gives a bit more depth very subtle again and that we're all the different options here now you'll notice down the bottom there's a transform option unfortunately that appears not to work anymore so if you actually just put that to 0.25 nothing changes likewise none of these other settings so that is one feature in the beta that doesn't seem to particularly do anything at present so you've got your design there well, what you can do now because it's a layer on top of the original image you can use blend mode that's really useful so you can just go here normal let's just go say for lighten so you can just go down change that maybe color burn and you can see you can create some very interesting designs simply by going for say linear burn or maybe let's just go for overlay or soft light and so on hard mix is another one for creating a very intense image but of course you can always duplicate this layer that's another option you can also apply effects to the lower layer also you can let's just put it back to normal you can also apply effects to this you don't have to just keep this singular effect or maybe duplicate this parametric filter and apply another embroidery on top of this but i'm just going to go for filter and stylize and oil paint it's a great option and you can see when you do that you can then tweak the stylization i'm just going to put that down to 0 0.1 and cleanliness up to 10 lighting no and click ok and that will smudge the effect and you can also of course apply it multiple times add it two or three times to create even a smudgier effect and you can see it blurs it slightly at any point you can always go to layer and then flatten image so it blends completely into one single layer and then you can continue of course to apply additional effects such as oil paint and other effects as well hope you found this of interest any questions about the embroidery filter please let me know in the comments below always great to hear from you a like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.